Hey guys, so I want to talk to you today about using Video Motion Pro with output from Video Maker FX. So let's dive in and give you an example. Video Maker FX has been around for a, a little while now. And one of the things I do like about it is that it tells you exactly what you need to do. Create a new project or open an existing project to get started. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to create a new one. And we'll just give it a type test. And then you go ahead and add any slides that you want to add. Now, the, there are a number of slides that come with the program as default. I also subscribe to the monthly content from Video Maker FX. So let's just choose, uh, let's call it a nice short one. And you can see there are five different slides here. I'm just going to add all slides to the, the bar. If we just have a, a quick run through just to preview the project. So if we go to the first slide, you can see there are three different text areas that you can fill in here. We'll just leave that as it is at the moment without any effects or anything else. Slide two. Text area, you can enter your logo or application image. Slide three, three text areas. Slide four, once again, you can enter your logo or app image. And slide five, three text areas. So what I would normally do is to, after filling in the appropriate information here, adding images or shapes or animation, etc. I would just simply go through and save the project. Preview the project. Just to make sure that everything is as I want it. Let's close that down. And then export the project as a video file. I'm just going to save this on my desktop for reasonness. I'm going to output it at 1280 by 720 bump that up to good and start the video export. As you can see it on this high specification machine goes through and produces the video really quite quickly. It renders one frame at a time and it shouldn't take too long for this small project to render. Almost done on the last slide. Export complete. Let's just open the video folder, which is my desktop. Look for test. And this is it here. So if we just play that through, make sure it's exported everything correctly. as it has. So we're going to go over now to my copy of Video Motion Pro and to get that in you just simply import media. Let's go to the desktop and look for test. Double click on that just to bring it into the editing 
bin, as I call it, and simply drag it down to the timeline. Now what I would do with that, because I've not added anything else to the slideshow, I would import, for instance, a lower third. We'll just choose the first one here. I'm not going to bother with the logo. Add lower third. Going through and creating the animation, and that's complete. And I want that animation to appear pretty near the beginning of the video. Let's play that through, see what it looks like. I just want to readjust the placement of that. I'll put it in the bottom right hand corner. So let's stop that. Select the animation. Let's place it down here. Play it through again. I'm also going to add an intro. Just choose the first one here. Add some text. Pull that up. Let's select these two and just move them across a little. Pull that up to the first line. Play that through, see what it looks like from the beginning. I want to stop that there, just pull that one back a little. Play it through again. and it goes straight into there. And we'll add an outro. I won't bother putting any information in there for the moment. Goes through and creates the animation. Go back to the beginning. Intro. Start of the video. And the lower third. Which disappears now. Carries on through the rest of the video produced in 
Video Maker FX. And moves into the outro. And that is pretty much a completed video. I know I have put a lot of information in there, but it shows you just how easy it is to produce something with Video Maker FX. Let's just save that on the desktop, give it a name. Create the video. With all the added bits from within Video Motion Pro, it's added everything together and is now rendering through the video, which is going to take a couple of minutes. So I'm just going to pause the video. Okay, we're back now and it's almost done. Okay, on that, minimize that. Let's play the video through. And everything looks fine. Minimize that. And that just about covers us for a quick Video Motion Pro and Video Maker FX project. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Do you have a video on your website? Hey, did you know that 90% of what enters your brain is visual in nature? Well, how about this statistic? Those that visit your website are 85% more likely to purchase a product if they've seen a video than if they haven't. With statistics like that, you know the way to avoid letting your competition get ahead of you.